Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Hallie. So today I'm going to do, show you how I got this makeup look. It's only using one, two, three, oh, it's gonna be one, but four, mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, six products plus setting spray. So if you wanna count that as eight, then eight products. But let's say six products in this tutorial. Um, so it's really just how to get your makeup, it's just like a natural, no makeup makeup application. I mean, obviously you can tell I've done something, but it's just more natural than like thick foundation, all the powders sitting on top of your skin, and then you go out in the sun and you have like the peach fuzz and the sun, the sun, the sun shines, the sun shines on your face, and then you just look very like makeup y and cakey and just not great. What am I trying to say? This is your lazy girl makeup. If <laughs> you want something quick, so you get, so you look put together for your day, whatever you're doing. But as you get hot throughout the day, it'll um, melt off and like age. I don't know. That's, that doesn't sound like the word I want to say, but it'll age with your skin and look natural and just like um sink into the skin throughout the day rather than if you go to all this work to like set super heavy makeup and you put all this powder on blah blah, blah then as you start to go throughout the day and it might like stay but it's just gonna look so heavy and then when it does start to fade it'll look like chunky and just weird blotchy i don't know this is more just like it gets it looks better as it goes on I don't think I'm making sense. Anyway, if you want to see how to get this look, keep on watching. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so for this makeup routine, there's actually no foundation or primer. The first thing I go into is concealer. So I really just put it wherever I need it. I always put it under my eyes and then on any like blemishes or anything that I have. So I tried a new face sunscreen yesterday and my face just erupted and just broke out everywhere. So I uh, always put concealer on there. Um, I blended out, this is a Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. It's a F, S, F, F64, not S. Okay, this is way more than I would normally use, but it was a new one and I, I didn't think anything was coming out. So I really like this concealer. It just brightens, but it doesn't look very like obviously like makeup. It just kind of blends into the skin. And after I do everything else, it like melts even more into the skin, but and it just like kind of brightens everything up and smooths out it. And I don't bother bringing it like over here or anything. I just do like under my eyes and then on any pimples and then here and here. That's it, and I just blend that out. Um, okay, so next I usually go in to contour. This is the Better Bod from Tarte. It's bronze and contour, I think. I'm assuming by the name it's supposed to be for your body, but I'm guessing it's face and body because it's never broken me out or anything. I don't really like to do like this type of motion with my contour because I find it just like, like muddy and like dirt, dirt, dirty. <laughs> it doesn't look great. So I just kind of stamp and then when I get close to the hairline, I just blend it in like that. So then there's no weird, like obviously I'm not tanning my scalp up here. So it's a different color, 
But that's why I just kind of smoosh it in and then it all blends in so there's no weird lines. Same with my ears. I always put it on my ears. Which I do that if I'm wearing foundation as well. I put my foundation on my ears, but since I'm not wearing foundation, I don't want it to look like. Because if you were naturally this tan, then I think your ears would also be tan. Because they're sticking out from their head, so they're probably going to get a bit of color. So with this product, the first time I tried it, I actually hated it because I put it on with my finger and I put it on top of my foundation. And it, you know when it just like lifts up your foundation? And you have to go in again and try and fix it. It was I got so frustrated. It was very annoying. So the first time I used it, I actually hated it. But then I kept trying it with it because it wasn't cheap. And I bought it without trying it. Obviously, because I'm stupid. But anyway, bought it without trying it. And then I was like, well, I paid $50 for this. So I would like to make it work. So I kept trying it. So now this is what I do. I just take the blush brush. And it's actually for powder. But it works. Um... I just get a little bit on there and then I just lightly go in and just kind of stamp it on. I never like swipe or um, use my finger or sponge or anything. It looked bad no matter what I did. But with the brush and stamping it on like that, it actually looks so pretty. And it has, as you could see, I don't know if you could tell, but it has just like a little shimmer in it. So I actually don't um, put on highlight with this look. It's just like enough of a glow that it just makes the blush and the highlight go into one and it just looks like super um, glowy but natural. The next thing I do, hang on, I was just here the wrong way. Okay, the next thing I do with my eyebrows, um, I'm going to zoom in for that. So I just do little strokes. I'm not really too precise with this. When I get to the front part, this is where I pay more attention. I just do a little tiny, just like flip them up. Oh, okay, that wasn't on camera. So I just spool them upwards and then just kind of go across to make them all the same length up top. Just like that. Okay, that's how I do my eyebrows. Um, Julie, if you're watching, that's for you. Okay, next. Mascara. Mascara and concealer. And brow products. I was going to be like, oh, I have to do two things. No. Those are the top three things that I do whenever I'm going somewhere. So this is the Laura Hughes original. It's this one. It's got a brand new tube. This is nothing exciting. I have concealer on my. These are the times when I wish someone was here with me so they could be like, your lips look disgusting. If you need a micellar water though, I recommend this. It's the Bioderma, the hydrating one. It's like I said, I have very dry skin. It gets better at this time of year, but most of the time. I'm a flaky bitch. Okay, so this is the Becca Glow Gloss in the color Tiger Lily. I really like this gloss. The only thing to note is that it has a very strong peppermint smell and taste if you don't like that. It's my driving insane because it's very strong. This is the only powder that I actually use. It's just the Lauren Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I only put this right under my under eyes, just a very small amount. And then on my eyelids. I uh, don't really care if my eyelids look sweaty. I actually kind of like that look. The only reason I do this is because this mascara is not waterproof or anything. So if I'm sweating, it rubs. And I get like those little black lines there and below. So that's the only place I put powder. 
she says, and she also puts it on her pimples, but that's the only place. Okay. And last, I set it with two different setting sprays. And this one just this one I really use more. I only use a little bit of it, a little bit of it for this look. But if I'm doing like a full foundation with powder products and stuff, then I use this to like make the powders like melt into my face. But this one, if you're gonna be sweaty, I wouldn't use too much. And then I just kind of like press it in. Okay, and then this one I just use to keep things in place and make things last. So this is what I do when I, I usually wear this um, to work in the summer. So I just want to look like a little put together, a little like I did something, but not like the full glam, um, like full foundation, the whole shebang. I just want it to look like light. And I also do this um, because if I'm outside and then I know like you're going to sweat. I don't know if anyone that doesn't sweat at all. But it's pretty hot in the summer here, so when I'm sweating, I don't want it to look like my makeup is like separated and falling apart, that falling apart makeup look. It's not my vibe. So, and I'm also, I get annoyed when I go to all the effort of doing like full glam makeup and then it just starts to look shitty throughout the day. I don't know how else to describe it. It just looks worse and it looks more makeup -y and you slick on your skin and when you're out in the sun you have those little peach fuzz and it just looks like he went to all this effort and then you look like a hot mess so i do this look and i do all cream products and then it just kind of like melts into the skin it looks way more natural but like obviously obviously i've done something but it's like hmm, she looks kind of nice without being super heavy in the summer so, and if you want to do the full shebang, like, I obviously do that as well. But this is just, like, go-to, quick and easy. I can usually do it in less than 10 minutes if I'm not talking and I'm just, like, doing it. I can do it really quick and easy. These, uh, these two products I love. And I like that I don't need a highlight as well. It all just, like, blends together. So, yeah. I hope this is helpful. I hope you learned something. I uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in the next one, which might be in another five months. Who knows? What can I say?